And growing up in Cochrane with a bit more of a redneck kind of feeling in the town, it wasn't, it was a different outlook on how we could approach things like the environment and kind of solutions for problems that we're facing here in the 21st century. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. As students across Canada head back to school, so do we. We head to the Cochrane High School outside of Calgary, Alberta, where one student group is building super cool renewable energy projects and producing the next generation of green energy leaders. Meet Stephanie Bennett. She's a veteran high school science teacher who started the Sustainable Development Committee in 2004. This committee is a strictly volunteer committee. Nobody gets credits. Nobody um, is, uh, is um, uh, being paid for any of this. Um, we are, I mean, the beauty of it is that not only are they learning up-to-date uh, sustainable practices, but they are also uh, meeting some amazing people and having some great experiences. One of the students on the committee is Rhett Devlin, a grade 12 student. We have a turbine project and solar panels on the roof. I think I got involved with it mostly because I always, always saw myself as someone that wanted to be sustainable and like treat our world nice. Like I didn't want the world to be wrecked because of my, my establishment here, I guess. I wanted it like to do something that helps instead of hinders. Another student responsible for getting these projects off the ground is Adam Seabold, a Cochrane High grad now in his second year studying business at UBC. We've done three phases of solar, uh, one of which included the solar hot water heater here behind me and then a solar PV system. Uh, we also have uh, like usage systems, so we have LED lighting systems all around the school uh, that kind of cut down on energy consumption. Uh, we have like motion sensing light switches. Uh, we've, used, we've gone to waterless urinals and stuff like that. Uh, we have a small turbine that powers the laptop that kind of tracks all of our energy usage. Um, I think we have the ease trough system as well, which collects rainwater for both of our gardens. Over the years, Cochrane High students have raised $149,000 to fund six renewable energy, energy efficiency, and green landscaping projects around the school. But there was one project that didn't go as smoothly as the rest. And then phase seven was the, uh, was the notorious wind turbine proposal. Uh, we didn't achieve that yet. Uh, we may, managed to get a uh, town policy out of that. That's right, the notorious wind turbine proposal. The students in the Cochrane Sustainable Development Volunteer Committee wanted to build a small wind turbine on school land. And that's when they encountered angry local residents and a leery town council, just like real renewable energy developers might encounter. All right, so we're here at the proposed location for a five kilowatt wind turbine. Uh, it's just on this side of the scoreboard, right by the football sled there. Uh, we chose that location because it maximizes our setback distance from the, our neighbors and our surrounding schools. So there's three schools in the tri-school area, uh, the first of which is Elizabeth Barrett, which is an elementary school. Then we have Manichabin, uh, which is a middle school. And then we have uh, the main high school here, which is Cochrane High. Uh, so this area, it really maximized uh, our whole setback distance, especially from neighbors as well. So the town regulated that we had to be at least 100 meters away, and we far exceeded that. I think our closest neighbor was 130 some meters away. So we really made sure that if sound was gonna be an issue with our project, that we didn't mitigate it by having a, a really far setback distance. This tiny 300 watt turbine was installed 11 years ago, but the five kilowatt turbine is yet to be installed. Instead, the students found themselves ensnarled in red tape dealing with angry neighbors, convincing the school board to allow them to apply to the Alberta Utilities Commission, and ultimately working with town council to establish a policy framework to allow renewable energy projects to be built in town. Jay Hewley is another Cochrane High School grad. He's a former member of the Sustainable Development Committee and a second year engineering student at the University of Calgary. We thought it was going to be a pretty simple, simple project, but then we had our first open house and we were met with some opposition from some of the neighbors, along with quite a bit of support, but definitely some strong opposition. And that led to us having a series of open houses trying to inform the community of what we had our intentions were. And going through the school board, the Alberta Utilities Commission, and the town as well to try and 
get the right permits that we needed to install the turbine and do things properly. Amazingly, this volunteer student group fought the good fight for three years. And although they never did build their own wind turbine, they educated the public, got a new town policy framework permitting renewable energy developments, and learned some extremely valuable life skills. I learned a lot of things about safety and noise of the wind turbine because that was some of the biggest things that the town was opposed to. So learned a lot about birds and bats and how they interact with the wind turbine as well as the noise and how it dissipates over a distance and how really it's not very loud from a quite small distance away. Thanks to the work of the Student Sustainable Development Committee, the Town of Cochrane now has a policy that lays out the kinds of renewable energy projects you can build in town. And yes, small wind is allowed. So it's called the Renewable Energy Framework Policy and it covers um, not just small wind, but it covers uh, uh, geothermal, it covers solar electric, it covers solar hot water. Um, basically, uh, things that are manageable to implement in residential, commercial, and industrial buildings uh, within the confines of the, of the uh, town perimeter. This time, instead of building a project, the students helped build a policy. Three years of frustration? Hardly, Hewley says, given the chance, he'd do it all again. And he already has plans to put his civil engineering degree to work in a related way. I'd like, like to build, build like a completely off the grid sustainable building is super cool idea to me and to see something like that as a commonplace thing in uh, our architecture would be really interesting to me. Students in the Sustainable Development Committee at Cochrane High School were already overachievers, building almost $150,000 worth of green projects in their school. But the so-called notorious wind turbine project produced one more significant thing, the clean energy political leaders of tomorrow. For more information on sustainable development and what they've accomplished, head to greenenergyfutures.ca. We've got a photo gallery, a podcast, and a blog. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Stick around to the end of the credits for a link to one of our favorites. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Learn about recycling's cooler, hipper, younger brother when we dive into cradle-to-cradle -cradle manufacturing. It's continuous upcycling in a closed loop, and it's a totally new way to think about manufacturing. Click on the video and don't forget to subscribe. We produce new videos every two weeks.